and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Scion, our last meme tier deck of the day. Um, but again, this one looks really cool. Uh, this is a, again, another viewer submitted deck that has Twisted Fate and Scion together. All right, so with Scion, we want to discard cards, and with Twisted Fate, we want to draw cards. Well, we have a couple of cards that can do both of those things. We got like Brash Gambler in here. Awesome with both champions. We discard two to help level up Scion. We get to attack, draw two, give them fleeting. Awesome with both champions. That's really unique. And then also Arena Bookie, a card that I always love. Um, you know, every single round start, we're discarding our lowest cost card. We're drawing one perfect with both champions. So, you know, like I'm, I'm pretty excited to try this deck out with that. Uh, we have some good removal with Make It Rain, Noxion Fervor, we're dealing some damage. Um, you know, Pocket Ace is in here to help protect your Twisted Fate. Pretty cool thing. Even We even got Aura Glint Horns, an Ancient Warmonger. Um, you know, I don't know what we're going to do with it with Aura Glint Horn. You know, maybe we like red card stuff or make it rain and damage some things. I don't know what we're going to do, but it's going to be cool. Um, <laughs> you know, so yeah, definitely looks like a really unique deck. So let's give it a try. Let's go play our five games over in uh, normal because it's meme tier day with Twisted Scion. All right, we got action. Action decks are, you know, this is going to be a Howling Abyss deck. I don't think we have, and yeah, just double checking, there are no Scorched Earths in here, unfortunately, to destroy landmarks. Um, but let's go ahead and maybe just keep this hand, or maybe get rid of the Pool Shark, I suppose. Um, well, no, let's keep it. I don't know, maybe we should get rid of it. Gently, gently. <laughs> Step lightly. Okay, I don't know which one of these one cost cards we're gonna discard. Hopefully the reborn grenadier to the arena bookie. But either way it'll be pretty fine. I probably I probably should have mulligan the pool shark. But I was also I was also thinking, you know, it's not a It's not a very important card. I should mulligan it. Okay, discard Reborn Grenadier. Nope. This Gambler can get rid of some Fallen Riders and stuff like that. Ooh, Shipwreck Quarter's cool. Your whole screen is black. Maybe try to refresh, maybe? I'm not sure why that is. Alright, gonna go ahead and send the challenge in here first. Make them, you know, use whatever spell to help protect their action, and then, you know, maybe we can finish it up with a Fervor or a Twisted Fate. Okay. Me. That makes life a lot worse because now the Twisted Fate's going to be vulnerable. And now my gold card doesn't kill action anymore. Yeah, that's not good. I don't really want to pass, though, and I don't really want to play the Brash Gambler right there. That's just not the best. Hard for me to see. My money, my Villains beware. Gotta trust your instincts. Okay, hate to do it, but I want to kill the action. Obviously, hate to do that. Another action. That's too bad because they're, you know, their deck's definitely just all built around action in this Warlord's Horde and stuff. So it's too bad they had another one. Um. 
Okay, so they really want to play defense this round. I think I'm going to go ahead and just draw one. Never lost a fair game. Kind of work towards our Twisted Fate level up. Soak it in. So our Brash Gambler can discard, you know, like double or a Glint Horn and stuff like that, you know, or discard like this Warmonger and a Glint Horn. Yeah, that's why they just wanted to play defense for their Howling Abyss. Let that take over. You're at three out of nine. This is justice. Oh, I don't want any of these to block. It's a good attack. I guess I could just take five, probably. All right, toss two, get two treasures in. In the eyes. Okay, I think it's my internet is acting up right now. Okay, so the Twist of Fate's at 7 out of 9. So we're going to Brash Gambler, discard... those two so we give give our shipwreck quarter plus two plus zero and overwhelm so now it's an eight five overwhelm Ugh. Life and death intertwine. yeah it's just perfect this is just exactly what they want, want their howling abyss deck to do Ooh. no no it's fleeting and we don't have we don't have enough mana. Dust. It's fleeting. Okay, get Twisted Fate back. How are we doing on cards? We still have 18. So a good amount of cards. Our deck does level up Scion really well. I guess playing this pool shark doesn't matter. I guess I should have just waited to discard that to Arena Bookie, probably. Point the way, and I'll make the way. All right, Scion. I'm gonna need a lot of help, my opponent. Getting some good stuff. So they're not an actual Talia deck. So like that was the champion they created from the Howling Abyss. So these have been the three champions they've created so far: Nasus, Shen, Talia. Those are. All good hits. These rocks should fit perfectly. Now we'll give him plus two, plus two spell shield, probably. Exactly the kind of stuff you dream that deck to do. Worth at least twice as much. All right, we're gonna try to Aura Glenhorn stun all damaged enemies. Come on, Aura Glenhorn win. Because I think that gets through that get, that should get through spell shield. Like you know, 
Twist of Fate doesn't get through Spelch Field, but this should. Orok Glenhorn win? Oh, why didn't they... They didn't replace something that was damaged. That's a surprise. I think we got him! Orok Glenhorn kill! Wow! First time ever, Orok Glenhorn kill! How about that? What a great game. GG's. Okay. We got Pike Rek'Sai. That sounds like a, a Lurker deck. That was a really cool game. We had, like, Arena Bookie was awesome in that game. I want early blockers here. We're mulliganing these three. The Gambler is cool and all, but I think we have to mulligan that too. I think we just have to send everything back and look for one, twos, and threes, and this is not a good sign for one, twos, and threes. This is where we want our Reborn Grenadier and... You know, Arena Bookie, Fallen Rider, Jaw Hunters, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Hopefully they have a bunch of one health things that we can red card away. But man, come on, we gotta... We gotta find something to play by next round. I can't believe we mulligan all four cards. And... Why even do that? You can't lurk right there. Oh, come on, really? We can't even cast anything. We mulligan all four cards and then draw another seven. So you see 11 cards and we can't play anything before round four. Crazy. All right, we're going to gambler away. Scion and vision, I guess. Early need to be able to play like two Twisted Fates next round, right? Like Twisted Fate red card, let it die, and another Twisted Fate red card. So, like maybe I should have just Twisted Fate red carded here, but we want to dealt damage those other things. Awesome. Glad they played that. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Or played one. Who says I don't share? Charmed, I'm sure. I'm out. Where do you stand on cold shots? Okay. Just gonna pass. Awesome. So this has worked out kind of well for me. Now, uh, we don't know what they're going to do here with this Lurk and stuff, but, you know, get another red card. Clear all that up. That part has worked about as well as we could hope. Twist of Fate being awesome. So we're going to be discarding this at the round end, and they will still, whenever discarded, grant the strongest ally plus two plus zero. So this is still going to grant something plus two plus zero, maybe the uh, Twist of Fate. We'll see. Kind of assume that they're going to challenge and kill my Brash Gambler, and that's sad. But that's how life goes. Hmm. Okay. So this is doing 5 damage. So I can save it with the pocket aces, but then they just challenge anyway, so then we don't... You know, since it's vulnerable. If it wasn't vulnerable, it'd be worth saving, but since it's, since it's vulnerable, it's not really worth saving. When you want a job done right. Instead, we'll be able to discard this pocket aces round start. Let's draw something else.
It always looks good until death from below. Always looks good till death from below. Yuck. Oh man, really? Oh well, at least. Yeah, stream streams back. Streams good. Uh, at least we're not gonna have those cards coming up. Oh, that didn't help. Yeah, I guess same with Jawfish, right? Yeah, it always looks good until Death from Below or Jawfish. Jawfish also just all, always kill you. Okay. See, I guess you know we we dug fat dug far enough to find a Fervor at least, because Fervor could be really good against this Pike. So what if we don't have any cards in our hand? I guess we won't discard. Uh, I guess we don't get to kill Pike. I guess we have to go this way, this row. Otherwise, we die. Because yeah, we don't have any cards around start, so that won't do anything. This is kind of too bad because I can't. All right, cool. I was say I can't really discard this fervor round start because we need we kind of need it. That worked. Kind of. Old twist of fate would be leveled up by now. Oh no. I can't play that card. If they play anything, we lose. Old Twist of Fate would be leveled up. Back in the day. Yeah. Alright, GG's. The deck was stacked against us. Thanks to Twist of Fate. But that was one that it looked like we weren't going to be able to stabilize at all. So at least we did stabilize and stay alive for a little while. Okay, Pool Shark's gone, Fervor's gone, Warmonger gone. Playing against Twisted Fate Gangplank. This is a you know powder keg deck that uh, likes to do small amounts of damage to stuff. So Jaw Hunter is super easy to kill, but Jaw Hunters will create a sea monster for us. At least, so that's good. See, Devour Death's very useful. Yep. Yeah, now it's going to be really good against us. Don't really have a line I love. If I go Gambler, you know, like we discard Grenadier and it doesn't do anything right now. Discard the Fallen Rider, which is good. Uh, but. No real lines I love there. I think I'll just play this 5 mana 5 5. Man, they're Prankster? Alright, we're. Probably pretty dead. So we're just kind of getting behind. Curve's a little high. We're getting behind these decks with these aggressive hands and direct damage and stuff. Use a little bit more ways to slow the opponent down than what we have. Oh, 
of damage right there. Yeah, we look pretty dead. That's what I was worried about playing the gambler into the harpoon earlier. Yeah. We're just getting drained out by the monkeys. Alright, good game. Good, impressive hand for them. Yeah, maybe we need another make it rain or in like death's hand and I don't know, something like that instead of like pocket aces. Alright, so definitely really like Arena Bookie. Looks like we're playing against Control. Keeping the Pool Shark is something super cheap to discard for Arena Bookie. I don't think they'll have a burst speed blocker, right? I don't... Okay, cool. Like, I don't think that's much risk, but... I guess you never know. We play in build rules, son? I will play my part. All right, discarding Scion or just discarding one of these Glint Horns. I guess we could also open attack first, play it after combat, because I can't really attack with it right now because we'll just basically just get rid of two cards. Yeah, the Auroch will help the Scion level. If we just want to like make sure we have a leveled Scion here in a little bit. That's probably the way to go. I'm gonna let it happen. I, I feel like, you know, like if I don't let it happen, we discard the Risen Rider, draw a different card. You know, I'm, I'm perfectly fine keeping this Risen Rider. Do not like them having all these go hards. I do not like them having all these go hards at all. play either of these, they can just get discarded, that's fine. Alright, Scion super, super leveled up. We know they have the, you know, five mana deal five to all of our stuff. Not five damage deal with five dollar stuff. Cool. Well, that's great. It's too late for you. Well, this was pretty great. Never mind, not as great.
Even though this is the Roar of the Slayer, it's going to get discarded. I wonder if it's going to, you know, grant Overwhelm and go back into the deck or not. My axe is getting cold. I don't know how that's going to work. Let's go in blue card here. Blue as the Serpentine. Keep this hand filled. And I'll just cast this and discard that thing. I guess might as well kill the 3-2. Okay, Violet says no, that wouldn't have gone back into the deck. Tidal wave. Maybe we need more tidal waves. So again, they're gonna do five to all my stuff. Maybe we can assume. And now we can fervor in response. To kill that. So I could go Glenhorn, or I could go Risen Rider plus Pool Shark and draw an extra card next round. You know, round start with that Pool Shark. Well, I mean, this is this is just this is not going to work out well for me. This Ion thing that that is not going to work out well for me at all. Know your enemy. This is not good for me. I don't know where they were supposed to be lethal. That twin disciplines protect the kindred. That's very good. A game. Go on then. All right, let's try to find this colossal wave that we're gonna create. Fervor is good. You must know me, little one. You must. All in, baby. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think they would. You know, I was just only thinking about like cards that you know with just like that little bit of mana that would like kill my two power thing, and I you know just didn't think they had anything for that. So I thought it was you know fine to do the pool shark and keep my scion alive, but how that all worked out like them having the twin discipline you know like my play was very poor against twin disciplines and yeah if i would have targeted the scion it would have been much better they've already played pack your bags they had they have to play three go hards again before they can play a pack your bags Better just do blue card. You would think that they would have some kind of protection for this, and you know maybe I should have done this before attacking. Yeah, that's just too greedy of me to not do this before attacking. Yeah, they're gonna have that. Who 
says I don't share? So many things that can go wrong for us and against this kind of deck, but yep. So some decisions that you know lines that I took that ended up not working out. You know that Noxion Fervor line, maybe that you know should have done that with the Scion instead. I like the stuff that our deck's doing though. You know, like I, I think this deck's been pretty cool. Fervor. I don't know, Fervor has been a little rough. It's the thing is, is like the three damage is really nice, but I hate that we, like we have to constantly kill our own things for it. So basically, I think that like the unit package that we have here is really good. I think the two champions are good, and I think those all work well together. But I think our spells could probably be better I think we could do I think we could do more with our spells so basically our our spells are just make it rain fervor pocket aces and I think we could do better than that there's a chill in the air when you want a job done right this is a mistake. Damn soon. My money, my fools. <laughs> Never lost a fair game. So again, I was planning on Fervor, but actually, you know what, I kind of like this more. I could do red card and then also make it rain, but then that doesn't really make too much sense to do that. I think it makes more sense to go card here. Okay. That is perfectly fine. Because then the gold card now kills this. So we got rid of three of their cards for my one Twisted Fate. It's a tricky card to play against the Curse Keeper because you know, like, you don't want to block it because you don't want to give them the 4-2 and take one on your unit. But then if you don't block it, then they can keep continue to do these kind of Chronicler of Ruins type stuff. That card's not easy to kill. Slow speed. That's a lot of people to slaughter. You want to slaughter them all. Two more. I'm gonna not block the gambler. I'm really surprised we were able to kill the Hecarim with that Glenhorn. I was thinking they were gonna be, I don't know, playing something to stop that from happening. Sorry, Tidal Wave. Not 
Alright, let's go, Scion. Alright, Scion finishes it out. We're gonna have the multiple attacks. Well, that's if Scion would die, I guess. But two and three. I, I liked it though, like I said, like I really liked the Twisted Fate Glint Horn. I really like Gambler with Reborn Grenadier. I thought there was some really, really cool stuff in the deck. But I wasn't I wasn't impressed with just a couple of cards. Like Glinthorn, we did win that first game because of Glinthorn, but I don't think Glinthorn should be a three of. That's that's like maybe like a one of type card. Uh but let's see. And then, you know, like Vision, Tidal Wave wasn't too or po pocket aces. Those three cards, Vision, Tidal Wave, Pocket Aces wasn't very happy with any of those cards but what to do i'm not exactly sure i could see this being a mariah great mother deck as you try to like dig for the spells that mariah great mother plays i could see ooh, like whirling deaths you know just kind of like some other removal spells whirling death could be kind of cool with overwhelm and stuff that could be good but we want to just make sure we don't die right away right like that was what we were like we kind of struggled against some aggro decks Ooh, what about like mariah warden that could be a good thing that just gets you some multiple bodies to kind of stay alive a little bit. Okay. So if we didn't play no pocket aces, no tidal wave, no vision, maybe an extra make it rain, maybe like two fervors and like one glint horn. We could play Mirai Wardens, Scorched Earth. Probably need like two pool shark. We go a little bit less on the pool shark also. We could go Grave Physician. That Grave Physician gives us draw and discard both. I guess we could play Lost Souls as like other things to discard instead of Glint Horns playing Lost Souls. Okay. So no Mirai Warden. Back to Lost Souls and Grave Physicians. I didn't. Not, not Scorched Earth. Wrong card. I meant Whirling Death. To go along with. You know, Whirling Death just helps your gambler not take damage or, you know, overwhelm Whirling Death. Over one plus one only death always good. The great physician basically thinking you know like we need like one more body to you know that the extra make a rain get like a little bit extra bodies to start off early because we did struggle with that so you know maybe maybe like one Mirai Warden in there too. A lot of other options there, but Mirai Warden would would also work out with the make a rain and the fervor and stuff. So this is what I kind of recommend changing up with the deck just a little bit. You know changing the deck up just a little bit, but I think this could. Uh, help out get some more draw in the, there with the grave physician just more early stuff to help out against the aggro decks with that extra make it rain extra the warden and then the three grave physicians you know and then still lost soul and grave physician but you still have good late game with this giving you some extra draw and the lost soul you know like being discard this it comes back and all that kind of you know all the stuff the lost soul does gives you some extra late game still too okay but cool deck. Very fun deck to play. Maybe I'll just try this again. That was awesome. All right, so that's Twisted Scion. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Feel free to try out the original version or feel free, feel free to try out this version. Um, and let me know. Let me know how you like them. How's the Gray Physician, Lost Soul stuff treating you? Um, you know, anything like that. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. If you got other ideas, if you got other like good removal spells or anything that, uh, you know, good interaction, any, anything that you recommend putting in here, let me know about it because um, this is one that I'm definitely interested in and, and uh, really enjoyed. All right, but that's going to be it here, though, for Twisted Scion. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.